Hello everyone, welcome back to JustTravel.com. Here in this video, I am going to show you how to install Laravel framework in your Windows machine. Actually, I have already made uh, some advanced videos like uh, payment gateway integrations. You can see I have uh, search functionality implementation, implementing middleware and all such videos. But uh, there is no a video on how to install Laravel framework. So I just wanted to make uh, everything available in this channel itself. So I decided to make uh, some beginner videos how to install Laravel framework and application structure and all such things. In the previous video, I have I will tell you how to install a Laravel framework in Ubuntu machine. In this video, I'm going to tell you about how to install it in a, a Windows machine. It's also a brand new Windows machine. I don't have PHP and all installed. So what we'll do is we'll go to we'll install XAMPP, uh, which is uh, which comes with PHP, MySQL, and all such things. So I'll install XAMPP for PHP, and then I will install Laravel using those uh, Laravel documentation. So first open uh, first so first let's open uh, ApacheFriends.org. So this is the site. Exam Apache plus uh, MariaDB plus PHP. Actually, previously it used to be MySQL, but the latest version it changed to MariaDB. So I will install Exam for Windows. Actually, it comes with 7.2.1. If you go to Laravel.com and click this documentation here, it requires latest version of 7.0. And 7.2 is the latest page version, no problem. We will install this XM for Windows 7.2.1. We'll click it, it will give us, give us a download. We will download it, save file. The download is completed. We will click it, it will open the installer. I will install that. Sorry. Welcome to exam setup user. You click next, next, next. This is basic installation. You can carefully click next for all the steps. It will install this exam in your system. So I will just come back after this unpacking. This step is completed. As you can see, the exam setup is completed. It will ask to start the control panel now. I'll just click finish and it's English. I'll click save and I'll start. Actually, we don't need to start this, it comes with default PHP net. Just for testing, I'll start it. I'll just start this. So, if you open now, now closed, you can see this exam is installed. So, if you can, in, if you can go to this PHP, there will be some PHP file here. You can see PHP version 7.2.1 is installed. So, PHP is currently installed in our system. So, now let's proceed with the further steps. We have to install Composer also. So we'll go to com get composer.org. We'll go to download and we'll copy all this and in our terminal. I'll just paste all this here. Actually, it says PHP is not recognized as an internal or external command. What we need to do is we need to set up the path. So we'll go to C drive, we'll go to this exam and the location for the PHP will be this one. So I'll copy this and we'll open this environment group variables. In the control panel, you can go to system and security and under system, you'll get this advanced system settings. Click it there and you will see this environment variables here. Just click there. And you will see a variable called path. 
If it is not there, we need to reset it. So I will create a new and we will name the variable as path. And we will copy this and end with the semicolon. So we will click OK now. OK and OK. And now if we run PHP again, actually we need to close the terminal and open it again. So now if I run this PHP dash V, that is version, it says 7.2.1. So a PH how PHP is installed. So now we will copy this uh, to install the composer and all. We will just paste it here. Downloading, it will install the composer first. It says use the PHP composer dot far. You can use PHP composer dot phr. It says this thing. So we have installed composer successfully. So now what I will do is I will uh, install this composer global require Laravel installer. I will paste it here. So we need to use PHP composer dot phr. So it's installing the Laravel installer. So I'll just uh, uh, pause it here and come back when it's done. So now our Laravel installer got installed. So now if I type uh, Laravel here, it says command not recognized and then or external command because we need to set the path. So even for this, even for Laravel, we need to set it in the environment variables. We need to see users Avinash app data Avinash app data roaming and roaming there is composer here and here is vendor and it's been here. So I'll copy this path until this bin. So again, we need to go to this environment variables. We'll go to the system, advanced settings, and we need to click this environment variables here. As you can see, this is the previous we said previously we set a path for PHP. Now we need to edit it. We'll place this vendor bin composer the path which we just copied. We we'll click OK, OK, and OK, and now we need to close this command prompt and run this again. So now I will run Laravel now. You can see Laravel installer 2.0.1. So now after that, we will go on to create a new Laravel project using Laravel new block. We can create a new project using Laravel new and give a name as block. But we can also create the other way. Here you can also create using this command. I will use this command here now. So I'll just paste this instead of blog. I'll give some other name like um, uh, test app. Actually, we need to use composer.phr here. Installing Laravel version 5.5.28. This file exists. So then we EME copy. So it's uh, installing. I will get it back to it when this is done. So finally, our application got installed. The key is also set. So now we can go into the project folder. Actually, we have created test app as a project name. We go into that folder and we'll run this command php artisan serve and and it will open this in uh, localhost 8000. So I will open that now. You can see in localhost 8000, our default Laravel application got installed. So, so this is how we'll install our Laravel, Laravel application, application in a Windows, Windows machine. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, give it a like, comment, stay tuned for more videos from justtravel.com. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Now it's time to discover more. Simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel, watch another video, and visit our webpage.